Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Final Vlog. Today's video, if you are a patron, is brought to you by you once more. The patron starts at $1 a month, and today is your last day to enter the June contest. But you kind of have until the fifth of the month because the money does not go into the account until July 5th. So you have to keep your donations where you want them. And remember, just joining for a dollar, you're entered this month. You get the posters and all the cassettes and stuff. You get the magazines. The set list and a bunch of other stuff. But for the Black Solice LP, Mysteries, 145 I mean, 140 gram vinyl. Number 70 out of 300. Great black metal. And for one to ten dollars, you can win everything but the LP. Ten dollars and above donations you win the worm Jim Shorts Floridian Funeral Doom these came out around the Gloom Lord time period and were worn twice they are a large and were printed by Inferno screen printing and there's a lot more, but that's 20 and up. You get the LP, the shirt, all the cassettes, and more. Like, just for example, in case you did not, like, watch the video, you technically are getting, uh, Six first days of humanity releases as these have two releases on each cassette and also you're getting the very much so sold out Frozen Soul Encased in Ice reissue demo with the bonus tracks, the alternative artwork, all over font cassette, and you get some sick bonus tracks on here. You get the regular split, including the Mortician cover. Then Merciless, Tormented by Time, Slayer cover, Mandatory Suicide, Morbid, Devourment by Intuned, and a demo version of Crypt of Ice. So, yeah. Rio, Corpse Bristle, and Century Media. So, yeah, even if you're not in the $10 to $20 contest, a dollar to $10, you can win all these cassettes, some posters, and some other good shit. Now, we're blasting, and we're going to be going over the new Antichrist Siege Machine, Vengeance of Eternal Fire. I hit the boys up last night and legit was like, yo, this is your best. 
album to date. And I really loved Purifying Blade, but holy shit. Probably the best duo in the game when it comes to them and Primitive Warfare right now. When it comes to Bestial Black Death duos, fuck yeah. Vengeance of Eternal Fire, like, I brought everything out real quick, just because this is, like, taking all of the awesomeness of the back catalog. I do not have the 2016 demo, but the earliest release I have is Morbid Triumph, which is one of my favorite ASM releases. These are all Stitch and Black Hand. I think only Purifying Blade is, and uh, the new album is under license by Profound Lore, because Stitch and Black Hand did the final version of Schism Perforation. And I love how they put like the demo. I'm, I'm like positive that's the demo cover art, but it might also be Because they're very similar. Yeah, uh, the Morbid Triumph. But I swear that's what the dem- I, I don't really remember. Fuck. But, look at that promo photo. And as usual, ASM deliver with the promo photos. But this is an older release. I'm just going, I'm just showing, like, Schism Perforation, it's the only, like, I need to get my ASM LPs, Black Vinyl, so good. And, like, when this first came out, I was like, hell yeah, like, this is exactly what I wanted out of their debut full length. And then, shit just kept getting better, and better, and better, and better. And now, they're one of the best bands when it comes to this type of subgenre of black metal. That is Bestial Black Death. And if you're like, well, they just sound like Conqueror. No! Like, there's some parts that obviously go down the Ross Bay Cemetery route. But, now, at the end of the day, at this point, Antichrist Siege Machine sounds like, guess what? Antichrist Siege Machine. They have develop their own sound and yeah don't get me wrong there's obviously a conqueror influence there's obviously a fucking blasphemy influence there's obviously an INRI sarcophago influence if you're playing this style of music then I take it You've heard Blood Upon the Altar. You've heard Fallen Angel of Doom. Like, you know what this is. If you don't, and you happen to catch Andy Crazy Machine on one of their, like, death metal dates, then I understand where you might be like, yo, I saw this band last night that played, like, grind mixed with black metal. What you heard is Bestial Black Death Metal, AKA War Metal. And one of the things I really love about the new album, cosmetically, from Stitch and Black Hand, aside from keeping it 
like, okay, this is just a nerd thing. Aside from the Filth of the World promo, and it's a promo, so full length wise, I love that Stitch and Black Hand has kept every release cosmetically the same. Like, artwork up top, readable logo, name of the album, same track list, promo photo, or in the case of Purifying Blade, first off, look at that bad boy, you got the weapon and everything, but Hails to Warhead as well, but I love that picture. And then the promo photo. That's what I mean, like, fuck, yeah. Like, just that little... Like, I, I just think shit like that is cool as hell. And having lyrics to follow, always a good time. And, uh... Vocals recorded by Bob Quirk, mastered by the eternal champion, all there is. Hell yeah. I, I, I want Bob to record my vocals for the Accursed Wound full length. But uh, Purifying Blade was another one. I was like, wow, like ASM is becoming one of the best in the game when it comes to this genre. Like, this has one of my favorite promo photos in it. There's a live photo. And then, oh my god! So sick. Scott and RZ, Death Pals and Battery, and Stringed Assault and Tortured Groaning. And this was uh, recorded and mixed by Bob Quirk, mastered by the Eternal Champion, Arthur Risk. So, again, ASM. And check out the tape. Because they used this, like, sick, frosty, like, blue. Which matches the font. Again, it, it's just nerdy, cool shit because it matches fucking Satan or whatever that demon is. But Vengeance of Eternal Fire, definitely one of my favorite releases of the year. But it sounds like every other black death metal band. No, it doesn't. No. There's so much, like, death metal on here, too, where it's like, yes! Like, there's just parts where it's like, you can pump your fucking fist, you can... Awesome. And then... Ugh, it's fucking sick. But Morbid Triumph, 2022. This got the cassette treatment originally uh, 2017 because the demo is 2016. But Schism Perforation, I think the colored vinyl was gold based on, again, the font being gold, the tape being gold. And again, there's that promo photo. And then, uh, oh shit, I forget what that is on the back. But again, you get the leader, you get my point here. Like, cosmetically, this shit is so cool. And, uh, 2019, 2022, like, 
I, I'm a nerd about Antichrist Siege Machine and the cassettes. Like, and again, I would love to have all these on vinyl. But I'm happy. I love how ASM sounds on tape. But again, they sound great on vinyl as well. But. Legitimately, I was like, all right, how are they going to one-up Purifying Blade? Because Purifying Blade is just in-fucking-sane. Like, every track on here is just like, it's banger, banger, banger. But the new record, it's even more of banger. It, it, it's one of those albums, like the new Ascended Dead, where every song... It's, listen to every song. Son of Man, Only Evil, Piled Swine, Scissora, Cowering Lamb, Prey Upon Them, Vanquishing Spirit, Scalding Amidity, Lysergic, War, Psychosis, and Abysmal Hate. And this is uh, 2024 released under exclusive license by Profound Lore. Like, there's your, like, kind of stock war metal type. But they do it so well. Vengeance of Eternal Fire, Antichrist Siege Machine. It's a 9 out of 10. So goddamn sick. Limited to 200 on cassette. So do not sleep on this bad boy if you would like it on cassette. I'm not sure if the LPs are sold out or not, but also if you did not know, Scott, who plays drums and does vocals, also is in the mighty Left Cross. Now, if you're like, what? Yeah. So, like, two of the best releases... Ooh. Sorry, hold on. I just have to... There it is. I was about to say, I know my Left Cross records are right next to my Last Days of Humanity shit. So, Chaos Ascension. There's the 7 inch as well. But this is on Vinyl Conflict Records. Profound Lore. I need to get this on cassette. But this sounds so good on v vinyl. Upon desecrated altars. Holy shit. Now, this is... Pr okay. So, really quick. To me, ASM, you have your best deal, Black Death Metal Supremacy. Like, legit, top shelf, modern, best deal, Black Death Metal. And then, you have Left Cross, which is gnarly, top-shelf death metal from Richmond, Virginia. Like, so, so goddamn heavy and good. Chaos Ascension, great debut. But upon desecrated altars, holy shit. No sophomore slump here. This is one of the gnarliest records. Oh, 2023. So this technically is last year. Fuck. 
Because I was going to say, like, this is definitely, like, one of my favorite, you know, wow. Like, when I, again, this was one I, my expectations were just blown the fuck away. I was like, holy shit. I had no idea they were gonna, you know, one-up Chaos Ascension, and they did. But, like, Scott is just such a good drummer, and he adds so much to Left Cross as well. At, well, ASM, obviously, because he's doing vocals as well. I forget if he does, like, guest vocals and like like not guest vocals but if he does vocals and left cross i haven't seen them live in a minute and i didn't mean for this video to go this long so i'll look into that myself dude leather glove needs to put out some more material that band rules but yeah antichrist siege machine vengeance of eternal fire yet into it. Stygian Black Hand did the cassette, Profound Lore, CD, and Vinyl. Links will be in the video description. Get on it. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Infernal Hails and Gratitude. Peace. Yeah.